Hello everyone. Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about how to set up Docker Engine Enterprise Server on Windows Server 2019 in AWS. First of all, come to this page and here we have an image on AWS Marketplace. Do not worry, I have given the link in the description of this video. You can follow that. With this image, you will have everything as pre-installed into your Windows Server related to Docker Engine. Click on continue to subscribe and then click on continue configuration. From here, leave everything as it is and click on continue to launch. Now from choose action section, here click on drop down arrow and go for launch to EC2 option and click on launch. Now what it will do, it will take you to EC2 management console and in here we'll create an instance. In terms of my name, I'll write here docker scroll down and here we have keep here. Click on this option. Here you can choose an existing one or you can create a new key pair. Well, in both cases, you must have key pair in your file. Just click here, name your key pair anything. Go with .pem option and click on create key pair. It will download a file for you and you will need that file ahead in this video because in order to decrypt or access the password, that file will be needed. After that, scroll down, leave everything as it is and click on launch instance. It will take few seconds to complete the launching process and then it will take you to your instances. As you can see, it says success. I'll click on view all instances. Here you will see that it is pending and it is initializing and will wait for all the checks here and until and unless it gets into the running state. So let's wait for it and then let's move ahead. We are done here with the initialization of our instance. So I'll just right click here, click on connect and this time click on get password. Here we need to paste or we need to give the file that we had earlier for our key. That is why I told you to have that file. Now I'll just click on choose file button and this is my file. I'll just click on this key and I'll click on decrypt password. So this is the information that I actually needed. This is the public DNS and it will help me to get connected with my remote desktop connection. So I'll just search for remote desktop connection. Here it is. I'll just click on it. And here I'll just paste the public DNS that I have copied earlier. Click on connect. In terms of username, write this username, which is administrator. So I'll write here administrator. In terms of password, I'll copy this password. I'll paste it here. Click on OK. If everything goes well, it will show you this prompt. Click on yes and do not worry about anything. Now it will create a connection with your Windows Server remotely and it will open it up. So here you can see it is opening our Windows Server 2019 into our system. So here we have our Windows Server up and running. Now I'll open my command prompt as an administrator. And first of all, we'll check here if our Docker is running or not. So I'll write here docker space run space hello dash world colon nano server. This command will check if our docker is running or not. And here it says unable to find image hello world nano server locally. Now it is pulling it from the libraries. It will download some of the files. So we'll wait for the process to get complete and then we'll move ahead. And here you can see here it says hello from docker. It means our Docker is up and running and now we are ready to move ahead and perform other activities. And now we need to configure our Docker for Linux containers. For that purpose, we have to use some commands. So either you can follow me from the video or you can check out the link in the description. That link will take you to this page that says how to set up Docker Engine container on Windows Server Azure AWS GCP. If you scroll down, you will see all the steps that are given and every guide that you might need in order to set up your Docker engine. So we are done with the first step and now we need to configure our Docker. And for that purpose, first of all, we need to install Hyper-V. So what I'll do here, I'll just copy this command or I can click on this button that says copy. And now let's paste the command that we have copied. After that, hit enter. And now in order to install the Linux container on Windows Server, we need to follow this or you can say we need to copy this command. So I'll just copy this 
and I'll paste it in here. Hit enter. We are done here with this one. Now I'll go back again to my article and this time I'll copy this command. I'll paste this command and here you should press Y for the all option. So I'll just enter Y and hit enter. And here it has started the process. It will take a little bit of time. So we'll wait for it. And we are done here. And now this is the second command. Just hit enter and let the process get complete. We are done here with this one as well. And now let's go back. Now we need to copy this command in order to enable Linux Kit system to run Linux containers and then we'll restart our Docker. So I'll just copy this command. I'll paste it in here. And now we have to restart our Docker. So just hit enter now. So we have successfully restarted our Docker service. And now we are left with this command. So I'll just copy this and I'll paste it in here. Hit enter. And now just remember the last few lines after this command. And if you see here, both are same. It means we are working pretty fine and everything is okay. And now it's time to configure our Docker Enterprise to run the Windows container. So again, we just need to copy this command and we'll do everything just like we did earlier. And I'll paste it in here. First of all, let's clear our screen and let's paste it in here and hit enter. We are done with this one. Let's go back. And let's copy the next one. Let's paste it. Hit enter again. We are done with this one as well. Let's go back again. And let's copy the next command. And again, it will restart our Docker service. I'll paste it in here. And I will hit enter to restart it. And now let's copy this command in order to see if we get hello world as an answer or not. Let's paste this. Hit enter. And here you can see here it says hello from Docker. It means it is working pretty fine. We are done with everything till this point. And now what we need to do? We need to run our Docker and we need to create some containers. Here we have three different links. First one is for base images. Then we have container base image. And then at the end, we have remote management of Windows Docker host. I'll open all of these links and I'll show you that how you can do that. Well, here it says container base images. These two are most common Windows Server Core and Nano Server. I'll show you one of them that how you can do that. So let's go to Windows Server Core and let's see how we can do that. So let's open it. From here, we have two options. Either we can go for 2019 and we can go for 2022. As we are working on 2019, I'll just copy this one and I'll go back to my Windows Server 2019. And here, I'll just paste this command and now hit enter. Here it is downloading everything. It will take very few seconds as you can see. We are done here and we have been successful to install the Windows Server Core. You can follow these documentations and they are in very detail and every step have been mentioned in here as these are from the Microsoft itself. So you do not need to worry about anything. And that brings us to the end of today's video. Don't forget to check out the links in the description that contain step-by-step -step guide on how to set up Docker engine containers on Windows Server in AWS. And you will also find out the image on the AWS marketplace for the Docker engine as well. And if you have anything to ask, please leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Till the next video, take care.